What will you learn throughout this course? After you finish this course, you should be able to understand the following important concepts, which are the course contents. First, what is the evolution of mobile generations and what is 5G? Then, 5G standards and releases and how its progress is going on. What are the key requirements and the drivers for 5G development? Then we will explore the spectrum and the frequency ranges allocated and used by 5G network. What are the different pans allocated for 5G? And what are the benefits and use cases that are the best for each frequency band? Then we will study the 5G new radio technologies and the specifications, especially the millimeter wave, the small cells, the massive MIMO, the private network, multi-access connectivity, and beam forming. And then we will deep dive into the use cases of 5G in different sectors and verticals, and we will see what are the different sectors that the 5G can be used in. Next, we will study also the features and enablers for 5G network, like network slicing and edge computing, which are enabling the 5G to provide its different services and capabilities. And then we will explain what are the options of deploying a 5G network, either by extension of LTE network or building a 5G network from scratch. Then we will study the important section of 5G network architecture and the different network elements or what's called network functions of 5G. We then study the implications of 5G on operators and carriers and what are the benefits they can gain from deploying a 5G network and what are the challenges that will face them during and after deploying a 5G network. On the other side, we will study also the benefits for the consumers and end user for the 5G network and then we will explain the interfaces and the protocol stack of different interfaces or what's called the reference point and what are the messages transferred over those interfaces and what is the concept of service-based architecture in 5G. Then we will explain the 5G data channels and identifiers and last but not least we will close with the control and user plane protocol stack in 5G. So let's make use of this opportunity and start this learning as soon as possible to catch the 5G world in its early stage and to be part of the amazing professionals working in 5G and I will be excited to meet you throughout the course and I wish you all good luck.